position. Enemy taking heavy casualties. Push through. Counter recon aircraft ready. Recon airborne searching for targets. Have them on the run. Kill them all. Counter recon aircraft ready. The Volk Stormgewehr is a new rifle here in COD World War II, and it's amazing. You guys are seeing with these clips here that this thing is shredding, and no lie, this clip that you're seeing right now on Gibraltar was my second game on with the Volk. And that clip you saw on Flak Tower was my third game on with the Volk, which is absurd. So you definitely know that just by those games alone with like barely any attachments on it that it's a powerhouse and later on when I put attachments on it it's gonna be even better. So I was using this whole entire weapon all day yesterday just trying to figure out if it's good or not uh, just to give you guys all a proper video instead of putting a video out right away just so I can get a good feel about the weapon, what's good on it, what's bad on it, and how it feels and compares to other weapons in the game. So this gun here is very similar to the STG-44 and as well the PPSH because the PPSH has a very similar fire rate to this rifle which is crazy so it's like an SMG and a sword rifle combined into one here which is absurd and that's why this thing melts so fast because of that very fast fire rate. The STG-44's fire rate is a bit slower than this one which makes this outclass the STG and also the recoil on the Volkssturmgewehr is little to none. Like the recoil on the description of the gun says high recoil which I don't know why it says that, that makes no sense because you can, you can control it very easily here with your right thumb and pull it down and it has basically no recoil, it's the ACR's grandpa, that's essentially what it is. I'm confident of getting people at those longer ranges, like anywhere on the map, considering the recoil is so little, like this gun is good at every single range. Is it overpowered because of that? I'm not sure, like the bar it definitely outclass this is up close because of that 3 shot kill range but at the same time this can co compete with other SMGs in the game which is uh, very insane for a rifle and that's of course what the bar does, it outclasses like almost every SMG because of that 3 shot kill range and I say this is very competitive, it's very good and it's also very consistent. As for my personal class setup with the Volk, I usually run infantry with 3 attachments and to gain that extra strafing speed while I'm down site for the basic training i run either hunker or inconspicuous i run inconspicuous if i'm playing free for all but if i'm playing dom or tdm i run hunker for sure for the attachments run extended mags rapid fire and quick draw but if you don't like the iron sights then it doesn't hurt to slap on a red dot instead of rapid fire which rapid fire isn't really required on it but still it decreases the time to kill and then plus adding rapid fire doesn't really take any effect on the recoil considering it just has basically none by default, it's that accurate, guys, if you could really control it. So, having extended mags is great because you're going to be burning through your ammo very quickly. So, that's a great positive right there to have for quick draw. I like to use it because I usually don't sprint around the map that much, I usually walk around the map but it's definitely pretty useful at times and that's the whole entire class setup right there you can mix and match and switch out many things if you want to see what class setup works best for you but i just find the most success with that certain class combination so as a whole guys the volk storm Gewehr is now my favorite rifle in this game it's so consistent it competes with the ppsh up close and other smgs and it's definitely Probably the second to best rifle now. I say the bar, it's still the best rifle because of that three shot kill range. But then the second best rifle goes to this one here for sure. It's better than the STG. There's honestly no reason to use the STG anymore because this one simply outclasses it. So guys, don't use the STG, just get this rifle here. It costs 23,725 armory credits, so it's worth your armory credits, guys, definitely. But if you want to get it for free, then it's just like the winter event from last time, how the weapons rotate every single like a day or so from Major Howard's special order. So the Volk actually might be there. You have to activate the special order and complete it to get the Volk, and that's how you can get it. So that's the entire video, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below about the Volk. Is it over powered is the new favorite sword rifle now here in this game and i'll see you on the next one peace out